Hey guys, I'm Zerfall, and this is take three on Snoopy's Silly Sports Spectacular. Um, I've had rec recording issues with this. Uh, the last one was a little bit of my own fault. I apparently double-clicked the start recording button and uh, recorded approximately one second worth of footage. This is Silly uh, Snoopy's Silly Sports Spectacular. It's a game that was published in North America in 1990. Um, it was originally published in Japan as Donald Duck, um, and that was in... 1988 uh, but I guess the license that the company had changed uh, so they rebranded for Snoopy instead it's pretty much the exact same game um, but with Snoopy and his uh, his cousin what's his cousin's name again oh man I know his cousin it's his brother Spike I believe, uh, the one that uh, lives in the desert. Anyways, they're competing in these uh, silly, silly games. Um, there's several events. It's based off of alternate world games uh, for old 8-bit computers. Uh, came out for the C64, ZX Spectrum, and Anstrad CPC in 1987. So this is actually a port of that, but they uh, branded it to, like I said, Donald Duck in Japan and Snoopy in North America. And it's a, it's a fun little game. The problem with it is, and it has a bit of a reputation for being a little bit difficult, is that it's got a lot of precision needed in some of these timing events. And it's just, it's kind of hard to play. So hopefully after watching this video, you'll be able to play it a little easier if you decide to pick it up and play it. So our first event is Sack Race, and it seems to be a movie of some kind. A lot of Japanese games kind of <laughs> had that, oh, this is a, a movie going on here. And you can press the A button to get yourself started. If you time your first jump right, you actually get a bit of a boost. Um, and this is different from most of these events where you'd want to tap as quickly as possible, because the longer you hold the button down, the further your jump's going to be. So you kind of want to, hopefully you can hear my controller there, you're letting go for as little time as possible but holding down still for a while. And we just missed getting 28 seconds, which is the, the fastest I get is just over 28 seconds, but we're still gonna get over a thousand points. For every second um, over 25 points, uh, 25 seconds you have left, I think, um, you get an extra 40 points. Now the boot throwing is an interesting one because the controls tell you, and it's not too hard to do, but it's a little hard on your thumb, is to do a full circle of the D-pad to get the spin going. Um, but I read somewhere that if you just press forward and then down, back and forth, it, it's super easy. And then um, when I was doing the last recording of this, I was like, yeah, if you just press one direction, you can see nothing's happening. Except if you just press down, you get just as much spinning. So you only have to tap the down button to get full speed spinning going. Um, and when this is at like a 45 degree angle or as it switches from 45 to going straight forward, you want to let go of it and get it going. So let's... Um, See if we can't get 30 feet here. Yeah, that looks like a good one. Uh, it might also be 27. They look like the exact same animation. No, nope, we got the 30. Now, Donald Duck isn't quite as strong as Snoopy, so when he throws it, it's in metric and he only gets 10 meters. I'm pretty sure 10 meters is less than 30 feet. Hopefully I'm not making a fool of myself. So, if we get 30 feet both times here, we'll get... And we have all the time in the world to do this. Um, we'll get um, 1,000 points. So let's see if we can't. I think we might have pulled it off. 30 feet, yep. Uh, I still do the double tap because I'm just I'm used to that timing now uh, from when I was playing for some high scores. So the pogo is interesting. Um, you can do it one of two ways. You just like, try to sneak up to the thing as close as you can get and you jump. And then when you go to the height of your jump here, you, you hold right and then you let go and you hit the height of your jump. And you're good to go. So you can try to do this sort of thing where you get close enough that you're not going to hit it, but every once in a while you'll hit the wall instead. And you let go at the height of your jump, and away you go. Next, tomorrow when we do it, I'm going to show you the, the quick way. That's uh, a lot easier and a lot less likely to get you into trouble here. Oh, I let go too early. See what I mean? Um... But there's a, a much better way of doing that. So for this one, 
you pretty much just want to get him to the back, and if you hit him while his arms are still flailing about, he falls in. It's just getting the timing on it. You've got to press the button just before you bump into him because your arms kind of get into the shove position and then shove. So you can't press the button right as you hit him. you got to press it just before. Um, and if you press B, you have a bit of a faster shove. And you might be able to tip him off the side. But I found every time I try to knock him off the side, probably one out of every ten times I get it. The other nine times, then we got Snoopy going in the drink. Now, this one here, and luckily time doesn't start until I press a button. Uh, we're trying to walk to the end while balancing our pizzas. Keeping the very top pizza on is very difficult. I've seen a tool-assisted speedrun of this where they, like, tap forward every other frame and or something like that, and it gets the waves going in just the right way that they're canceling each other out before it gets to the top. But as you walk, your pile starts to wiggle, and if it wiggles too far, a bunch of pizzas fall off. And that's the first time on such a small step I've seen three pizzas go flying off. So the thing is, is if you have any pizzas leaning to the right when you start walking again after you've stopped, they will fall off. And that's probably what happened to me there. So what you want to do is take a few steps and then press backwards to let your pizzas rebalance. And it's based kind of on how your jiggles end up going, because it seems to be random whether which way your pizzas are going to jiggle. And every once in a while you can take two or three steps without your pile barely moving. And other times, you see there, it went kind of crazy. And as you get to the end, you can just hold right. Although I did it at the wrong time, my pile wasn't perfectly stopped and I lost another pizza. So we're going to have to make this uh, jump for sure here on the pole, the river jump, if we want to stay uh, on pace to get a gold medal. Now this one is the one that's been the trickiest for me to get, and I still mess it up from time to time, but you got to tap A to run as quickly as possible, and then B just as your pole goes over the water, and then just like a fraction of a second after the pole hits the vertical position, you let go, or else Snoopy will continue to cling to that pole, and for some reason lose all momentum and fall in the water. Um, so it's, it's rather difficult to do. We managed to get it. See, the pole continues on. If you let go, but if you don't let go, apparently you've stuck it in the mud too hard, and you're, you're going in the, in the water again. So right now we're on a pretty good pace to get a nice score, and a nice gold medal. Uh, it's nice to get a bit of breathing room on the first two days, so on the last day you don't have to feel the pressure. Oh, we got the quick start there, so we should be able to get 28 seconds, no problem, as long as I don't mess up this time. Oh, see, this is a problem. I got greedy with my timing there, and I just wanted to uh, blitz past that manhole cover. And normally, it doesn't open up, but it's kind of randomized a little bit. They seem like they're almost always the same, but every once in a while, it kind of tricks you up. So we still have got 26 seconds. That's not bad. We're still going to get more than 1,000 points, I think. Um... Oh no, we got exactly a thousand. I needed a tenth of a second faster. So we lost our potential extra 180 points there. So hopefully we get this one bang on because our little bit of a buffer from yesterday will make up for what happened. But we lost a few feet on the throw there for some reason. And I'm not sure why you sometimes lose that three feet. You'd think that you either lose a lot more or not, not much, but... It's just enough to lose 50 points. Alright, so, the fast way on the pogo is this. You hold down right, and as you're jumping, just as you're on your way up, you let go of the button. And then you gotta time your presses so that every time you hit the ground, you press A for a part of a second and then let go. If you get this timing right, you do all big jumps, and you'll hit every single one. Um, I found it way less stressful than trying to do sneak up to them and jump, or even uh, a bunch of small jumps and then one big jump. Every once in a while I mess up the timing and somehow I manage to recover. I think two small jumps and two big jumps get you over in between ways, but... Um, thanks to Redox for... Uh, see, see what I mean? If you're trying to do the push them off the side, you end up losing it um she had a uh a youtube stream that she did and posted uh that when i watched that that's how she was uh doing that pogo and uh it really helped me get my score up because before that i was hitting the walls pretty much 50 percent of the time not making it all the way to the end so 
And in terms of speedrunning this game, if you don't, uh, oh, that's gonna lose one. If you don't do that in, in a quick manner, you're definitely not gonna be getting a, a quick score. Close enough to just walk it, walk it out. I don't know. After losing that, uh, I guess if we get the if we get this river jump, we're back on on pace again. But I, I really don't like having to rely on this because I'm not very good at this. See, I don't know if I just wasn't going fast enough to press B too soon, or if I actually do. I feel like I let go of the B button at the same time every time, and it's still not a guarantee I'm going to get that. So now we gotta have a pretty much perfect day if we're going to get a gold. Now we'll see what we can do. Okay, we're safe to go over this one this time because they do not go off right back to back very frequently. And I know I could be doing better at this. I, every once in a while I do the small jump instead. But not too bad. I think with some with some with far too much effort that I'm <laughs> have time to put in, I could probably get um that speed up maybe to 29 seconds left, but Oh, that's definitely so we definitely aren't getting the gold anymore, but I've at least demonstrated how to get a good score in each game at least once. Oh yeah, that's a real bad one. You see how easy it is to get on tilt and suddenly you can't make any throws. If only we hadn't fallen in the water. Yesterday we would still have a chance, but we're out of luck now. But that really is a the easiest way to do that. It, once you've uh, got the timing down on that first jump, it really does make it easy to get uh, get the full thousand points there. It's like Spike knows he's not going to get a gold medal, but he just wanted to uh, ruin it for us. Yeah, we've already got a silver. So, um, I guess I don't know what the point. Oh, I guess if, so if the pizza's to the left, you can start walking. Yeah, but see if it's to the right. Oh, geez. So at this point, psh. <laughs> and, uh, the couple speedrun videos I watched of the bronze and the silver, you pretty much just push to the right on the pizza. You're like, just get this over with as fast as possible. Uh, if you hold down right, it takes 13 seconds to do still. Um, but like... It's the event that you skip first, because, like, what a pain in the butt. And that's what happens if you don't uh, press B fast enough. So, not really a gold gold medal run here, but uh, still a pretty good score. We we got a silver medal. Um, hopefully, it's been educational enough to help you get better at this game if you are trying to. Um, or if you're playing it for the first time, to not get super frustrated with it, because um, without looking at some sort of video when I first started playing, I was like, I can't get any of these events to work. What's going on? Uh, reading the instructions for the game makes it a little bit easier, but the timing is just so weird on some of these things that uh, it can be pretty frustrating. So, there we are. We are a silver medalist. Snoopy's grand total, 12. 690. Uh, I'm Zerfall, thanks for watching, and I hope to catch you guys again in another video.